It's not usual to see inside a hive when it's swarming, but this is an observation hive which is bigger than the average observation hive and the bees are just going well, sort of crazy. You can see them going out of the tube to the outside. They're very, uh, very busy indeed. So this is the exit to the observation hive. The bees are just streaming out of the tube, flying around outside and, and starting to congregate in a tree nearby. There's actually a cluster of bees in that orange uh, peach tree. That's a pretty uh, sizable cluster for a, yeah. an observation hive. I'm going to get a box and, uh, and shake them into the box. Okay. So inside here I have some frames. It's, this is just a cardboard newt box. And I'm going to put it underneath this cluster of bees and give them a good shake. Make sure as many bees as I can get into the box. Then I wait to see what happens. Now while there's lots of bees still clustering up in the tree, there's a lot going into the box. So hopefully the queen's in the box. I've also put some lemongrass oil inside that box. And with a bit of luck, all those which are clustering up in the tree will actually move into the box. I think I'm going to just shake these off because Once they smell the bees going into the box, they should all follow. There's quite a lot of bees collecting underneath the box, so what I'm going to do is turn this around so they have the wall as a, a landing place, and then these bees that are collected underneath should I'm inside. You can see some bees with their tails in the air, fanning, they're producing a pheromone which they're fanning into the air to attract all the bees that are flying around. They seem to be going inside quite nicely. Now despite there being a large cluster of bees in the tree outside, I've just seen the queen in amongst all this uh, confusion. Now, of course I've lost her again, but it, as we beekeepers tell people that the new queen, just before the new queen hatches, the old queen leads the uh, swarm out of the hive, well, the queen, there she is, the queen is still in here, and so that is obviously not the way these bees see it. There's the queen, and she looks quite slim, she's I think ready to fly, and I'm hoping that she'll find her way out, and we'll actually join the swarm in the tree, but if she doesn't, 
then I imagine they'd all return. She's a she's a nice looking queen. Now as you can see there's a lot of bees still outside so I'm going to open the lid and see if I can oh yeah see there's plenty of bees inside so I'm going to gently put these frames in there as well just for the sake of completeness and hopefully they will these on the outside will make their way inside. There seems a very strong move to go inside but the, the whole the entrance is only quite small so they're only going in quite slowly but I think they'll all make their way in eventually. The, uh, the biggest problem is we don't know where the Queen is because I've just seen her in the observation hive inside and she should be out here with the rest of her daughters. So we'll have to see, but I think that they will they'll catch up with themselves. Bees have been doing this a very long time. They're very good at what they do. And I'm sure they know better than we do what they're doing. 